Good morning guys and welcome back to iPod Smart. We've been quiet for a while and the reason being is because there's a lot of things happening in the background that uh, not everyone's aware of. Um, there's some new things like the iPod Smart Radio where you can now also get the uh, radio uh, for the day. You can also now get your uh, commentary for the day or the uh, actual some shows also we've uh, just changed a couple of other things uh, I'll go through it as I see them as we carry on through the different races but yeah let's have a look in the first race uh, in the first race remember that we've got the P stats now P stats is only four races in this race but interesting to note that it looks like the opening betting as well as the line bet is where we are getting the most joy from P-Stats uh, in this specific Fairview Polytrack 1,300 meters in a class F. Remember that these P-Stats is specific to the venue as well as the class as well as the distance. So um, that's one of the things uh, that I needed to tell you about. Then uh, also to note that you can create your own notes at the bottom here um, I can also create a contributor note but everyone can create their own notes on horses jockeys trainers track or the race and what that essentially means is that next time that horse or trainer or jockey uh, pops up then you will be notified at the bottom here like I've got plenty of notes down here um, just to help you uh, when you go through the race racing and when you see what transpires on the day so uh, the other thing that we've also got added on now is that uh, a horse turns into red as soon as there is some merit rating manipulation I'd call it or let's call it untraining of a horse now a trainer gets paid to train a horse and uh, I would guess that that's the idea essentially but according to South African racing, it's not necessarily the idea and everyone's blaming everyone for the horse's merit rating being too high. And then we end up with situations like this where a merit rating has gone from 55 to a 40 whilst the trainer is training the horse. Now, not quite sure what he's getting paid for, but surely he is not training. So I call it untraining and untraining is when these horses turns red then and what you really have to be specifically have to worry about is when the trainer and the owner agrees then you have some uh, i would call casino shots out there that uh, can very easily bugger up one's day or the pick six or the jackpot or some of the exotics just purely because these guys are making it an exclusive pool for themselves, chasing more of the punters away. Every time this happens, more punters leave the industry and goes to sport instead. And it's clearly visible how they do it. And uh, we've tweeted numerous of these examples of how it happens, especially when the, the, the owner and the trainer is uh, the same person. Unfortunately, until that doesn't stop, we're never going to see those huge numbers coming back to horse racing because, yeah, now we have sport as well as a uh, much more consistent and lucrative industry to find the winner. In fact, there's only two teams playing, so that in itself makes it easier to find the winner. So we don't really need these uh, owners and trainers to make it a uh, private club to chase us away. It's already easy for us to just see what the opportunities are in sport rather than in horse racing that's why yeah why we cover 25 sports but that's for another day in the third race yeah he's back to four Montero is now scratched bb power another smith runner is now scratched so that leaves us with two other smith runners lily of orange and trump's express now needless to say you already have a worry here when trump's express is falling away from lily of orange on the bat 84 days form and trump express is coming from a rest so immediately i am worried about trump's express in this race uh, lily of orange is the greenie but given that warren kennedy puts his best jockey on uh oh, gavin smith puts his best jockey warren kennedy on lily of orange the chances of trump's express winning has just increased yeah 
I shouldn't repeat that, but that it is how it is. Uh, others to consider here, maybe my Lord and Master, he's not far away in the bat form, if you look at the bat form here, uh, 0.86 versus 2.68, and then 5.86, and then 12.62, but all in all, yeah, a lot can happen in this race, because you can see the P stats, the highest is at 32%, 29%, so quite a bit can happen in this race, and they can play it however they like. Race 4. Yeah, we've got a red horse top rated um, with Agent Griff, and then we have the favorite with Agent Smith, third run rest. That's another little thing that you probably like, is that little three with the green is third run rest. You also get a little two with, in red, that's second run rest. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to say Wildest Dreams is something to acknowledge, since they're really on training very well here, 74 merit rating. When he was in Cape Town, now they're training him like crazy to become a 59. Uh, so yeah, lost seven and a half kilos in the process. So I guess his chances of winning becomes much more, much stronger, since he is essentially uh, seven and a half kilos less to carry. So they probably got him in a kind of right race now to be uh, a winner, since he's now probably almost ready for the handicaps after they've taken care of the handicap from a 74 to a 59. Then we move on to the next race. Uh, Sugar Snap, Snap is also one to consider with Gift of Given. So yeah, those would be my first three in that race. Moving on. In the fifth race here, interesting to note, we've got Naidu and Naidu at the top. And uh, yeah, P stats is all over the place as well. You got the highest year, 31% on Irish Rain and Cliffy Miller. Um, but yeah, you got the line bat horse here, the purple one. That's another thing. Uh, the line bat horse is really our own handicapping system, um, saying that in the specific conditions of today, over the same venue and the same ish distance, so we have a little bit of a, 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 a gap discrepancy for the distance. Um, couple of meters down and a couple of meters up I think it's uh, well it's depending on three categories if it's uh, if it's a sprint or a medium or a long distance the uh, the actual grace is different but um, we allow a little bit of a grace for the line horse because otherwise we don't get enough purple horses or line horses um, to consider so I would say Casero is an interesting runner here because Kumnaidu and only runner for Eldon Weber and also is the line horse here um, on his 1900 maiden form. Uh, all in all, he's not the top rated. He's uh, lying third on the yellow stars, but uh, top on, on total. And his stable mate, 1000 Tunes, another Kumaran Naidu, has the best overall ranking and also has uh, the best 42-day, 84-day, and 168-day bet, which, if you remember, is bomb roll with the just the time combined. So uh, bet is one of our strongest indicators. So I'm definitely going to be also uh, interested in that from Naidu for the pick six purposes. And then we also have Shannon DeVoy here on his only ride for the day with Jockey Stradle. Um, and he's got the best bomb roll 42 days, best adjusted merit rating, average lengths behind without the adjusted time, based on those 27th of May runs. So, tough little race here to get through. Um, but yeah, even the bipod and the PA <coughs> might make this race pay because you're dealing with quite a few outsiders here in the race, Casera, Thousand Tunes, Irish Rain, and Opera Swing, and even Imperious Duke, because I always love the Bat C as the highest and strongest indicator, and in this case, Bat C belongs to Smith and Kennedy on a third run rest, but has a draw to overcome, and that's why the draw is in dark, because he's coming from a 16, which is quite tough to get around from that 1900 it is a far way so yeah tough little race to get through moving on to the sixth race 
and uh, yeah, uh, could be an interesting day at Fairview Poly today. Could be quite a tough day to get through because here we got four to one Tamil Tiger as the top rated, and then go lightly coming from a rest underneath him, and then we also have an only runner. That's why this is in green. Uh, and there's a little one there with flames, so inform from global ex global goddess. So uh, those three are the first three, but it doesn't really stop there because you've got uh, two red runners underneath that state of mind and Sultana that are both at 25. One of them has also got a gear change and has the highest median speed. The other one has best adjusted time and best speed rating. So um, a little tough race to get through. I would think that Boxing 11, 1, 7, 6, 2, and 9 will probably get you a decent price on the swingers uh, or even the trifecta. Moving on to the seventh race. And in the seventh race, you will see there's a lot of Smith and Griff today. In the seventh race, Wild Eye has now been scratched, and that now makes the other Zitzman Wistason uh, top rated ticket to ride top rated here. He does have the best exact course, exact distance blue bat. He is also the line horse. He is also the best bat 84 prior to his rest and bat 168. So not a bad little proposition this one, I think, but not an easy race to get through um, either because I see a lot of red here. Vida Futura, Beneficiary, Kingston Rock and Bethel. I see Leon Lotz on his only run of Torero here with a gear change and not bad on the bat side. But if I look at the strongest green bat, which is within today's distance category, then I'm still going to stick with what the program says on Ticket to Ride as the first choice. Um, then you got Duke of Orange, Jaguar Cat, Stay the Course. And then the outsiders, Beneficiary, Kingston Rock, Torero and Saipan. Uh, favorites Vida Futura and also red um, and also with hidden he's coming back from a bat you can see his merit rating is also dropping so yeah not really a nice day to be quite honest with you as far as racing is concerned we we did very well yesterday and our value bet dark travel was also a winner um, yeah but but tough today um, to be quite honest with you and then we finish off in Petra as a top rated in the last was Sharon Kotzer and Calvin Haber, but five to one. Um, again, a whole lot of question marks here because there's no 42 day form for most of the runners. And then also Stolen Kiss coming red from Tara Lang with a gear change, uh, with a uh, house change, stable change in other words. And decent bat figures prior to the change. You can sorted by then you see it's lying on fourth year no third now no patent's pride is scratched it's another little tough one um i'll give you a little trick what i normally do if i look at our ratings to give you the horses that's got the highest consistency i normally start with uh the process of sorting it on bat c and i see where my bat c has some serious strength um, Batsy is the consistency indicator for the last eight months. In other words, the consistent horse, the one that's always in the mix. In this case, like you see a naught on Batsy and then 2.96 lengths next and then a 6.13 lengths next. So um, I normally look for a nice little gap on the Batsy side um, to start seeing. I don't sometimes just play two or three races nowadays uh, because the money is really on the other side for me. Um, too many funny things happening uh, so I'm just going through to see here we have my Lord and Master and Lily of Orange really and then there's a nice gap to Trump's Express and a huge gap after that to Captain's Walk so maybe there's a swinger on my Lord and Master Lily of Orange and Trump's Express in that race if you look at the bad figures there moving on <coughs> here is uh, something that really is interesting and that is uh, Sugar Snap 16 lengths or 15.7 lengths ahead on bat C and the wildest dreams is uh, the other grief runner so here is something between a grief and a grief for me sugar snap in red and wildest dreams in red so yeah the gift of giving here is potentially Gavin Smith gifting something back to Alan grief 
Race five. Johnny five. Race five. Uh, you said that, yeah, that's that's a lovely little gap on Sugar Snap. Race for number three. Moving on, race five. Yeah, Imperious Duke Opera Swing a thousand tunes, and then it a little bit of a gap, Light Warrior, and so on. So not, nothing said. Casero is the line horse here. Got the nice minus on the line bat here. Got a minus because it's not over the same distance category. It's over a different distance category. Yes, State of Mind is also a little interesting runner. Given he's at 25 to 1, his third run after arrest, he is in red. He has a gear change and he has a 6.28 length on the field on bat C from his 19 runs to date. That's uh, something to look at. Stumble Tiger, Global Goddess, Go Lightly, La Duchess, Strata Stratale, Sultana. They are the other runners, but interesting little runner there, 25 to 1. Then uh, moving on, yeah, we have a lot of red, Beneficiary, Kingston Rock, Bethel and Vida Futura all on the red side, so hidden, untrained, the trainer paying, being paid for training the horse but untraining it, uh, so a lot of those examples here, uh, not a really nice consistent drop, drop there for me. And then in the Z8 race, last of the day, I have European summer now after the scratching. That looks pretty decent uh, from um, Emmanuel Cutness on the bat side. Flying Pride is now uh, scratched, so another one to consider then is the next in line, Stolen Kiss. Uh, and yeah, the line horse bat is down at the bottom here, Petra. So, but all over the place to be quite honest with you today um yeah some interesting things like uh, from yesterday that we could also see um, i mean you can go back to all previous ratings from our site um, that's uh oh, sorry we can go back to all previous ratings from the site of course so uh just want to show you things like which really not is not healthy not good for essay racing that's when you're top rated Sister Light, Sean Terry with Matsunyani on board. He's at 7 to 1, which is the second worst in the field. And the Sean Terry also has two others in the same race. And yes, it was the top rated. And yes, Sister Light did win. But it doesn't change the fact that it's very bad for racing. But again, an example of Bat C, 3.27 lengths better than Stablemate Victoria Page. And Stablemate La Luvia is third on that Bat C. So oh, yeah. yeah, pretty much highlighted the fact that the 7 to 1 is a serious consideration. Third run rest, best overall ranking, greenie points, exotic ranking, median speed, form, intentions. Total and bum roll curve, which is the same as bat curve, but without the adjusted time, but also the curve for best average merit rating adjusted lengths behind. So those are the kind of things that's really not nice to see because it chases the public away. Have a great day.